Did we really pay more for the PSVR 2 than the PS5 just to be ignored by the first party Sony Studios? I guess it's too much to ask to have a, an actual first party game, a AAA dare I say game, for the PSVR 2? Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take a look at what was announced. Okay, they started with Help Wanted 2. I admit I never played any of these FNAF games, but I mean, it's another horror title, and the whole trailer just showed an elevator ride and no gameplay. Because you ain't seen nothing yet. We ain't seen nothing good yet, that's for sure. We've known for a while that Resident Evil 4 Remake will get a VR mode, so that's nothing new. It is a AAA game though, so if it's as good as Resident Evil Village, then we're good. I do wonder how the game will translate into VR, because the original game is in third person after all. As opposed to Resident Evil 7 and Village, where the games were made in the first person from the start. No release day though. Did they just follow up Resident Evil with another zombie game? Just what the PSVR is lacking. Also, I'm not sure it showed any gameplay, it sort of feels like it was CGI all the time. Well, if you can actually take a zombie's head and make it talk with your hands, I guess that would be a really cool VR interaction, I admit. Crossfire Sierra Squad, one of the few games that actually showed gameplay. Though at times it sort of felt like it was on rails or something. The movement was very linear and only a few clips showed some lateral movement. Is it just me or the enemies feel a bit bullet spongy? I mean look at this guy eating headshots like nobody's business. And of course no release date. Synapse looks actually interesting and with its great voice cast I am actually looking forward to it. The way it's presented, it sort of feels like a roguelike, where you make uh, multiple runs to reach some sort of objective. A heart, I guess, in this case. Also, it releases pretty soon, so looking forward to it. And of course, the shadow drop of Beat Saber. It's nice to see that the upgrade is free for the PSVR 1 owners. I'm not sure if it's that much better than synth riders and the music sort of feels a bit expensive here also i heard there are some issues with the controller angles in game but i guess we can finally say that the psvr 2 has beat saber well i guess more shooters and rhythm games for us then i don't know if the show really sold psvr 2 to anyone you know i mean what is there to look forward to I was expecting some true AAA first party Sony games and all we got was some zombies, shooters and rhythm games. Also where are the surprises? We already knew most of these games that were coming. I'm not sure what the PSVR 2 future holds, but right now it's pretty bleak. Personally, when I bought the headset I was expecting way more. What about you? Let me know in the comments.